Okay, metal, there you go. They're all coming in. Morning, everyone. Um, I just wanted to uh, yeah, give it a minute to, to let everybody in from the lobby. But yeah, good morning, everyone, and welcome to this exclusive webinar. We will be delving into SunGrow's residential solutions with Menlo Electric. I am Natasha Schmidt, editor of Energize, and I'm thrilled to be your host for today's event. We have a lineup of distinguished speakers who will be sharing their insights into solar installations, specifically focusing on SunGrow's residential solutions. Um, please, if anybody can't hear me at any point, uh, there is a chat function. Please just message us um, and so we can assist if there's any technical technical issues. Um, so yeah, firstly, um, I would like to introduce Francois Nell. Francois is the technical sales manager at Menlo Electric. He has a rich background in electrical engineering and seven years of experience in the solar industry. Francois brings a wealth of knowledge to our discussion today. He has held various roles, including installation expertise, technical product management, and service engineering for leading global manufacturers. We're also joined by Leonard Fisser, the technical director of SunGrow. Leonard's extensive experience as an electrical engineer and project coordinator in firms specializing in solar installations and, so, and solutions equips him to provide invaluable insights into SunGrow's solar solutions. And last but not least, um, we have Ramishan Mojela, who's joining us. He is a technical support engineer at SunGrow. He has been with the company for a year. Prior to this, he served as a technical support engineer at two other firms specializing in residential and CI product support. So welcome to our speakers. Um, just to run through the order of events, Francois will kick things off with a presentation on Menlo Electric, followed by Leonard, who will share more about SunGrow's solar solutions. And then Remission will delve into the technical specifications for us. Um, the presentations will be followed by a Q&A session where we encourage you to join the conversation. Feel free to send in your questions during the presentations and our experts will address them towards the end of the event. Thanks, guys. Great. Francois, um, do you want to kick us off? Fantastic. Thank you very much for that warm welcome, Natasha. Once again, thank you everyone for joining us today. We are very excited um, to present to you today. Um, as introduced, I'm Francois. I'm part of Menlo's technical team, and I'll be taking you through just who we are at Menlo, um, what do we do, what things do we offer. Then I'll just hand over to Leonard he will then take us through the body of the presentation and introduce you a bit more to the SunGrow products. So to kick off, as we discussed on the agenda, we'll just talk a bit about who we are at Menlo, um, what do we do, and then I'll pass over to Leonard and he will take us through the main body of the presentation. Once again, as Natasha said, please do not hesitate to use the Q&A section um, we will take a, we will keep an eye on it and we will answer any of your questions that you have. Of course, if this is done, don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any further questions afterwards. So who are we at Menlo? We are a leading distributor of modules, inverters, batteries and accessories, serving over 300 clients in over 40 different countries every month. We work with leading manufacturers such as Jinko Solar, JA Solar, Longi Solar, SunGrow, Fox ESS, Photonica, and Huawei. We are also among the top three distributors of Jinko Solar in the EMEA regions. So, of course, an international company needs international expertise. We have over 170 staff in the over 40 countries where we are available to service you um, anything solar um, related. So once again, 
please don't hesitate to reach out to us. We can assist you with uh, quotations for your systems, with logistics, um, etc. Of course, with this, you need a strong logistics backbone to get the products all over the country uh, and all over the different areas. Um, as we know, I'm sure most of you are aware that batteries, inverters, and especially panels are quite unique things to transport. So we have partnered with um, international transportation companies who assist us with these things. So as you can see on the little world map on the side, we do service some of the SADC regions as well. So should you need any products in those regions or do, if you have any business in those regions, please do not hesitate to reach out and uh, we will happily assist you. As Menlo, we are rapidly growing. And just some of the numbers, we have done over 900 megawatts of equipment in 2023. As we said, we have over 40 plus markets um, in Africa, Europe, um, Eastern Europe, Western Europe, and now also the USA. We have over 110,000 orders completed in, uh, or oh, sorry, 11,000 orders completed in 2023, 15 plus hubs in the EMA region, 75 megawatts of PV components shipped monthly, and over 170 staff to assist you, depending on which region you are in. So as Menlo, we have a initiative and the initiative is called Solar to Share Collective. It is a CSR collective in which we donate free PV installations to healthcare, educational and other institutes. So we know, especially the continent such as Africa, that there are many places, many countries, many areas where there are less fortunate uh, uh, children, uh, hospitals, educational institutes, um, where they, of course, have electricity problems. So as this collective, we have donated over 15 solar stations in seven different countries, a total of 395 kilowatt of installed capacity. We have 10 partners supporting us in these projects. Over a thousand panels have been installed so far. Over 12,000 tons of CO2 has been saved. And we have uh, succeeded in 50% reduction of energy costs to these. So we are actively looking for these projects. We are actively looking for partners for these projects, whether you are an installer, whether you are a distributor, a reseller, um, whatever the case is, we are actively looking for partners to join us in this collective. Um, should you be interested to join, um, please do not hesitate to email the email at the bottom. So tara.williams at menloelectric.com and we will happily reach out to you and uh, share some more information with you. At Menlo, we also have the Menlo Academy where we offer training events. Um, on various products, so such as today you have found yourself in a training event where we are focused on SunGrow, the residential offerings of SunGrow. Um, of course, during the course of the year, there will be many other training events as well. So please do keep an eye out for those. Should there be something, uh, a training session that is of interest to you of a specific panel um, or a specific product, then please do not hesitate to sign up for that event um, and then of course join us for those events where we can then discuss and share with you all the new products, the new features, how they work, how they're installed, etc. So our webinars we offer in seven um, languages, so depending again on where you are in the country uh, or in the world rather. Um, we have 20 events, live events that have been held, over 2,500 listeners and over 50 webinars held so far. So please do just keep an eye out for those and um, please feel free to join uh, if should something pique your interest. 
Then just diving a bit in into the residential offerings. So as we said today, we'll be focusing on SunGrow. So um, Menlo does offer two main um, residential offerings, so Fox and SunGrow. We have from 6 to 10 kilowatt single phase offerings, 12 to 30 kilowatt three phase offerings. All the inverters we offer are high voltage, and I'm sure Leonard will dive into the benefits of why high voltage is then a bit better than the low voltage or more traditional low voltage that we know. And then, of course, the plug and play solutions, just how easy it is to install these products and how easy it is to commission them, ensuring you spend as little as time on site and get as many installations as done as possible. Other products we offer is PV cable. So we have six millimeter squared red and black H1Z2Z2 approved PV cable. These are tinned copper conductors. Um, we have these available in our various warehouses across the country. So that would be in uh, Johannesburg, in Durban and in Cape Town. Um, once again, don't hesitate to reach out. We then also have solar panels. As we said from the previous few slides, we have solar panels from Jinko Solar, JA Solar, Longi Solar. Our cables are from Enco. We have solar panels ranging up from 460 watt peak up to 575 watt peak. Both P type and N type panels are available in both monofacial and bifacial. That is it from our side, just a um, introduction, who we are at Menlo, um, what we do, sort of products we offer. Um, once again, the Q&A session is available or section is available. Please do not hesitate to reach out to us or to ask any questions that you might have. We will monitor it, we will get back to you and we will answer your questions um, during the Q&A session at the end. Um, that's it from my side. Thank you very much once again for joining us today. I'll now just hand over to Leonard to take us through the main body of the presentation. Thank you very much. I say good morning, everyone. Um, thanks so much, Francois, for your presentation. Oh, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so as previously mentioned, um, Francois, I'm just going to share my screen on my side. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to throw you out now. Sorry. I say, yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm Leonard Fisser. I'm the technical director for Sangro Sub Sahara Africa. Um, and I'm going to take you quickly through our products that we have available and our plans for the South African roadmap for this year. Um, and then I will go through some technical um, cap capabilities of the inverters itself. So for this year, for the residential and CNI market, we're currently going to offer new PL, PL, MPL, MPLE um, solutions, residential solutions, hybrid solutions, and also CNI solutions. So just in, spec in respective of the MPL, MLPE solutions, we're going to release optimizers um, which currently uh, is Leonard, available. sorry, sorry, yeah. I, I don't mean yeah. to interrupt you, but uh, we can't. Yeah. I can't see your presentation. Are you sharing I, it? Yeah, I'm sharing it. Yeah, can you see it, Francois? Sure. Francois, can you see it? No, unfortunately not. It, it came and went. I don't know. Maybe no. just reshare quickly. Sorry. Let me try again. No, that's fine. Let me do this quickly. OK, can you see my screen now? No, um, maybe Francois. Is Francois still sharing? Yeah, Francois, think... have you stopped sharing? No, I've, I've stopped sharing this. Is it? Okay, let me try doing the window sharing. There we go. Is it? Can you see me? Yeah, okay. I can see products roadmap for South Africa. Great. Yeah, OK, perfect. Thanks. Just Thanks. going to go into presentation mode. I say, all right, you can still see it on your side, Natasha. Yes, yes, okay. I can see it. 
All right, yeah, apologies about that. Yeah, so as I mentioned, I'm just going to go quickly through the product roadmap of South Africa that we plan for this year. Um, so I'm going to go through the MPL E solutions, the residential solutions, hybrid solutions, and CNI solutions that we are planning to implement into the market this year. So in terms of MLPE, so currently we do have optimizers available um, for our solutions. So that will include the six six kilowatt inverter, hybrid inverter, ten kilowatt hybrid inverter, and also the twenty five T and and fifteen T solutions that we offer in terms of three phase in the market, and also for our commercial HT one twenty five CXP two ranges that we we currently have available. So that's only available for this the, the separate versions that's mentioned here. So just make sure if you purchase the product that you have a correct version, which is um, which is optimizer friendly. So just in terms of our optimizers, so we're planning to release a SP1 4000D. So that will allow for 1.4 kilowatts um, worth of power optimization, and that's 20, 23 amp, um, a 23 amp capability. So that will be released in Q4 uh, of this year. And with this optimizer, it's not necessary to connect um, each in, the, in each panel with one optimizer. You can have um, four or five panels. Per, per, per optimizer, which is very, very, very nice. So yeah, that's just in terms of optimizers. Then in terms of microinverters, we will also release microinverters, which will include two KVA, 1.6 KVA, eight, 800 watts and 450 watts. So that's also going to be released this year. Um, and that's going to be more or less in May 2024. Um, between March and May, we're going to have those solutions available. Um, just in terms of currently optimizers, we do have the SP600S available um, in terms of optimizers. And as I mentioned, the SP1400D will be released in Q4, and then microinverters will be Q2. So just in terms of residential PV, so currently we do have the 6RS and 10RS available. Um, so that's also available in our market at the moment. And then three phase availability, we have the 15 and 25T. So that's all three phase solutions, which we'll go through a little bit later. So that's what we have available in terms of hybrid solutions. Um, yeah, just in terms of some more technical details. So we do have an on off grid application um, with 10, 10 milliseconds switchover. You can up, you can parallel up until two units, but we have done three in South Africa, which works perfectly. Um, that's available in the six and the 10 kilowatt, kilowatt solutions for our region. We are looking into plans in releasing this eight as well, um, which will be available soon. So yeah, just in terms of some technical capabilities. So our three phase hybrid solutions are all equipped with arc fault circuit interruption 2.0 with STPD type two and type one and two SPD protection. So meaning that there's no need for fuseless fuse protection on your DC um in DC side, um, meaning that the the protection is built into the inverter. We also have a 200 percent AC DC ratio. So meaning even though Let's say, for instance, you have a 15 or 25 kilowatt inverter. So let's take a 25 kilowatt inverter. It has a 50 50 kilowatt MPPT rating. So meaning that you can you can overpanel this solution with 200% of panels. So adding 50 kilowatts of PV to it, and then basically charge your AC loads uh, or have your AC loads at 25 kilowatts and charge your battery with 25 kilowatts at the same time. Then we, we're also going to have the new SPH batteries, um, which is on the same principle as the SPR batteries, but this is a five kilowatt hour module stack um, in, instead of the 3.2. So you will be able to parallel four of them and it will be um, stackable up until 40 kilowatt hours um, with 100% DOD and 50 amp charging and discharging capability. And it also it's IP6, IP65. Uh, then just in terms of our paralleling solutions, so the 25T is parallelable up until eight units, providing you with a 200 kilowatt AC solution or 1.28 megawatt hours. Um, and that will be done through this connection here. We do have a smart switch which allow for automated bypass just to make sure that this, that this changeover switching is seamless and that the system is reliable in any, in any, any switching case. 
Then the system is also monitored through our Azure Cloud, so which is our our in-house um, Sangro uh, monitoring solution. Yeah, so that's it. Then just in terms of, um, yeah, I'm not going to go through that so much um, on the batteries. Um, then I would just like to present to you our new solutions for the single phase. All right, yeah, just in terms of the single phase. So currently in the market, we do have the 6RS and 10RS solution, and that's through our SPR batteries. So with this solution, we do allow for seamless switching with 10 milliseconds, and that's available through the 10 and the 6 kilowatts. And as I mentioned, we're going to plan in, in releasing the 8 kilowatts as well. So like I mentioned, we do have a 10 millisecond uh, change power switching capability. It's grid independent, so you can have black start on the solution, so you can run it as an off-grid application. And it has seamless um, power switching with heavy appliances, even under heavy consumption. Then also just in terms of a bit of um, technical cap cap capability, so we do have a 32 amp MPPT rating, so meaning that you can add much more larger panels to the solution. So you can add anything between 500 and 600 watts of panels uh, to the solution due to the current rating. Um, as I mentioned, we do have a 200% ACDC ratio, so you can typically over panel the solution and um, charge and charge your batteries and supply your AC loads with the same capability. Then we do have a market leading MPPT voltage range. So MPPT voltage ranges are between 40 volts and five, 560 volts. Um, so you can actually add one panel to the solution and, and the system, the MPPT will switch on to start to produce power. Then just in terms of PID recovery. So PID recovery is a Sangro zero patent design solution. Leonard, sorry, yeah. I'm so sorry, but your slideshow, yeah. I think it's, um, I don't think it's, it's updating, it's frozen. You what? from Sorry, man, from our side, I'm yeah. just seeing new battery for MEA. That's, that's, that's where we've stopped. What? <laughs> that's very <laughs> weird. Okay, let me try to share again. Oh, yeah, share. maybe from the latest slide. Yeah. Uh, let's go there now. Jose, can you see my screen now? Not seeing a presentation, no. There we go. There we go. It's long-term generating same performance. Uh, yeah, let me just quickly go back here. I can see your little mouse okay. scrolling across. Okay, let me go back all the way. That's it. It's moving. <laughs> it's moving. Okay, okay. All <laughs> thanks right. so much. Yeah, so, as I say, thanks, Natasha. Yeah, so like I mentioned, we do offer single phase um, solutions. So that will include the 6RS and 10RS, and we've also released the 8RS also very soon. So we do have a seamless switching on the solution um, with, with endless uh, power supply, so un un uninterrupted power supply. Um, then, yeah, we do have a 10, millis 10 millisecond switching um, capability um, on the solution. And in, then also just in terms of some um, uh, general capabilities, um, we do have a 32 amp MPT rating, so you can add, add much more larger, larger panels to the solution between 500 and 600 watts. We do have a 200% DC AC ratio, so you can actually over panel the solution by 200%, allowing for efficient AC supply and also battery charging. Um, we do have a market leading MPPT voltage range between 40 and 560 volts, um, which allows you to actually, you can actually connect only one panel to, this, to the solution and it will start to produce power. Then just in terms of PID recovery, so we do have a PID recovery function available, which is also Sangro zero patent design. So the PID recovery stands for potential induced degradation. So we all know over time panels actually degrade. So with Sangro, we actually send a negative charge towards your panels during the night to ensure that you, you actually restore these panels from this degradation, which actually increase your, your life expectancy of your plant. Then also, as I mentioned, we also have an ISO cloud monitoring app. So this is an in-house Sangro solution in terms of monitoring. 
Um, you can an analyze daily energy consumption and it, it has third party API access and it has a 10 second uh, live data refresh rate. So every 10 seconds, your day live data will be refreshed. Then just in terms of installation capability, um, the system is very small and neat. Um, it's very lo low in noise as there's no fans installed. It's a complete fanless design. Um, you can actually install this outside due to the IP capability. So we do have an IP65 rating on the inverter and IP55 rating on the SPR batteries and it's C5 aluminum enclosed. So it's, you can install, install the solution outside should you wish to. Then just in terms of installation, um, it's quick and easy installation. As you can see, the batteries are stackable. So you can actually stack the batteries up until your desired um, your desired kilowatt hours that you require. Um, we do have a battery breaker building on the side, so you can actually um, protect your DC connection between your battery and inverter without installing any third party um, break or isolation. Um, we do have an AC and DC type 2 built-in protection into the inverter, so no, no need for third-party um, SPD protection is actually required. Um, we do have a high-voltage battery, so the, the termination between the inverter and the battery is only done through six small PV cable due to the high-voltage voltage capability. So your round-trip efficiency of the solution is also very good due to the high voltage, so you have less losses. Um, and as I mentioned previously, we do have an arc fault circuit interruption built into an inverter. So it's a complete fuseless design in terms of PV panel um, string, detection, uh, string protection. Then also, as I mentioned, it's a complete fanless design. So there's no fans inside the inverter that makes it actually noisy. And it's very quick and easy um, in terms of commissioning, um, which um, remission will take us through later. Then in just in terms of quality, so as I mentioned, we do have a C5 IP65 level protection on the inverter, so you can actually install the solution in a coastal area or coastal regions. And yeah, it's 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 friendly for to handle any extreme extreme environments um, as as Africa. Just in terms of some battery capabilities, so as I mentioned, um, we have a modular design with the battery. So each battery stack is 3.2 kilowatt hours. So initial capacity, you can have three stacks and that will be 9.6 kilowatt hours. And then you can go up until six stacks being 19.2 kilowatt hours. So we do have a 100% death of discharge with a 10 year warranty and 6,000 cycles. It's a high voltage solution and you have a C5 up to 55 um, level protection. Then in just in terms of our service commitment, so we do offer quick and easy RMA processes with 24 hour response. So this will allow through our servicing team. Um, we do have no repair on these inverters through an RMA process, meaning that we will replace the unit and not repair. And we do offer a 10 year warranty on all the single phase um, solutions with the inverter and battery. So just in conclusion, so as I mentioned, this solution is very quickly to install, very easy to install. We have a battery breaker built into the solution, um, AC and DC type two protection built in, modular design, high voltage battery. Um, we have off hook septic interruption built in, trusted quality, easy and fast RMA process. All right, that's it for the single phase units. So I'm just gonna, head over to our three phase solutions. Okay, yeah, just for our three phase solutions. So currently, as I mentioned, we do have single phase options avail available. So we actually saw a need in the market to go three phase as well. So we released the three phase solutions um, last late last year. So we do have a 15 and a 25 kilowatt um, three phase solution with our SPR um, batteries. That's uh, by using the same batteries as with the single phase solutions. Um, so what's new with the solution? So 
What is new is you can actually over panel the solution with 200%, meaning that you can achieve much more quicker return to investment since you can over panel the solution. So that will allow for cost in saving in, in diesel and grid um, consumption um, and will allow what which will allow for three years payback more or less in terms of uh, 50 to 25 kilowatt solutions. Then just in terms of inverter capability, so we do have a 25 and a 15 kilowatt um, three phase solutions. Um, as I mentioned, you can uh, it can overpower up until 35.36.5 kilowatts with within 10 seconds. So you can actually over panel or overpower this this 25T solution as well. Um, and then, as I mentioned, you can parallel eight of the 25 or 15 three phase solutions in parallel, allowing for 200 kilowatt solution and um, 1.332 megawatt hours. So we also have a PID zero function with the three phase solutions. As I mentioned previously, we all know over time that your panels actually degrade over time. So Sangro, the inverter will actually send a negative feed to your, to your panels, restoring them from this degradation, in, increasing your life expectancy of your plant. And then, yeah, we do have an arc fault circuit interruption um, capability. So arc fault circuit interruption allows for string detection. So the inverter will detect a string, a fault within the string, and it will oscillate that string within 200 milliseconds. It will actually then test five times, and if the fault still persists, it will oscillate that string and actually give a fault alarm on the on the ISOTA cloud app. You will need to go to site then, clear the fault, and actually do a string reset on the inverter to ensure that it will go into, into normal operation again. So this is a complete fuseless design. So with Sangro, it's not necessary to, to have any fuseless fuse protection in, in your stream. So just in terms of the um, solutions that we offer, you can actually cater for offices, restaurants, warehouses, and enterprises, which is actually a wide variety of applications. So with this, you can actually install this in larger residential homes as well. And we offer, like I mentioned, the same solution, this same solution with the SPR solution, which will allow for 125 kilowatts, oh, um, 25 kilowatts three phase hybrid inverter will be have to be connected with 25 to 25.6 kilowatt hour batteries, allowing for 51.2 kilowatt hour um, solution to obtain the full 25 kilowatts at um, charging discharge at 50 amps capability. So yeah, just in terms of um, backup over operation, um, yeah, this is just. Something else again. So yeah, I'm just gonna head over to Okay, yeah, I think that's that's it from my side, just in terms of the product capability and what we offer. So I'm gonna head over to remission now, which is our service engineer. So you will typically in, include the commissioning procedures and installation procedures that you need to take care of. So over to you. Thank you, Remission. Um, hi, everyone. Uh, um, like Leonard said, my name is uh, Remission. I'll be uh, basically <clears throat> I'll be basically presenting the what you call the the, the service side of the of the present of the of the product basically. So can do you all see my screen? Yeah, I can see it. Thanks, Remission. Okay. Okay. So basically, this is the presentation for all our hybrids, uh, hybrid products, uh, from the single phase to the three phase products. So um, the contact uh, will introduce the basic structure of all our single, of all our, our devices, uh, operation and maintenance app, commissioning, firmware upgrade, and troubleshooting, and the service commitment that we have as Sangro to our clients. Then uh, <clears throat> the best thing is uh, when you purchase one of our devices, basically, uh, you from from the single phase to the three phase products. The the ones on the on my 
the ones that I'm highlighting currently are the single face products and these ones are the three face products. So when you purchase any of our, uh, our devices in the box, within the box, you get all the devices that you need to do the installation between the inverter and the battery. The only thing that you'll actually require are the cabling, the DC cablings and the AC cables, as well as the protection on your on your on your on your on your distribution box. Those are the only things that you need. But the rest of this of the accessories that uh, you need to do the installation come with the with the inverter, from the mounting structure, mounting screws, uh, to the uh, to the communication from uh, from the communication cables between the meters and the and the inverter, from the communication cables between the battery and the inverter. All of that will be part of the package. The only thing that you need to purchase are the cables and the and the protection on your DC on your on your on your DB. Uh, I mean, so uh, Leonard also shared the part whereby you have to use uh, you can use six mil between the battery and inverter. So yes, on the single face you can use uh, six uh, you can use the six mil between the battery and the inverter, but uh, the most important factor is that you just have to remember that the 6RS, the 6 kilowatt, is the one that has a maximum of 30 amps max charge and discharge. But the 10 kilo, the 10 kilowatt, the 25 and the 15, and the, yeah, and the 15, they those inverters have a maximum of 50 amps. So when you are doing your design, just uh, take that into consideration that the 6 mil will not work on the 10 RS and the 15 and the 25T. You'll have to use a 10 mil DC cable between the inverter and the battery. Then um, I'll just introduce the 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 which called the LED lights of the stuff all our inverters. So basically. All our inverters come with a small screen at the front where you can actually see the daily, uh, daily, uh, daily, uh, the daily produced, like the daily power that is everyday power that is produced daily, the power that is currently produced, and the SOC of the inverter. You can't access any settings from the screen. Those are the only things that you can see. It's a it's a touch screen. You can view the those uh, options like like that I just mentioned, but you cannot access the settings through the screen. So on the screen, the LED light that I'm indicating, if it's solid blue, it means that inverter is connected to the grid and will produce uh, if if uh, there's, a, there's a load or need be to be charged. But solid blue means the system is connected to the grid. And then if it's flickering, it means the, the inverter is on standby or starting up mode. If it's red, it just means that the inverter is on fault and it needs to be cleared, basically. If it's uh, completely grayed out, it means the inverter doesn't have both AC or DC power. Then uh, this is the mini structure that, uh, the connection structure basically, but this will be uh, in the box as well. This uh, instruction manual basically would be on the box to highlight the points where you are to connect. So basically the ones that we have on the on my on my uh, on my left uh, is basically the 6RS the single face and the other ones are the three face units that we currently have so um everything that you basically need so for even the backup port the the our backup ports the the the, the for the single face are just plugins and then for the three phase ones as well are just plugins so you just need to only strip up the cable and just plug it in and that's it basically that's how you do uh, connections the connection so basically like leonard said it's easy and quick to to basically do the installation as well so to minimize the time of installation the only thing on the on the on the on the on the single face units you just have to terminate the the grid port but on the three phase you just have to plug in so the backup port is a plug-in. the The backup port of the backup port and the grid port of the 15T and the 25T is also a plug-in. Then we go to the communication. So with the communication, I'll just simplify it as as it is. Uh, the comms between inverter and battery scan comms between inverter and inverter when you're paralleling on the single face is just RS485, and comms between the meter and the inverter is also RS485. So on the three phase, comms between meter and inverter is RS485, but comms between Two inverters on the three phase is uh, it will comprom comprise of both the RS485 and CAN communication, which is something that we'll share as we we, we move on on the on the slides. So, for connecting uh, the the battery, so this is the basic structure. So, in all our devices, from the hybrids to the grid tights, 
A to B2 is always reserved for the meter communication, and A1B1 is reserved to communicate with other SunGro devices. So for the single phase, if you are doing, uh, you are paralleling the devices, would be between A1 and B1, uh, it becomes before two inverters. For the meter, it will just directly be A to B2. Then, can communication, it's, uh, it's on the green connector, which is this connector that I'm highlighting, or you can just use a straight RJ45 cable termination to plug in to be able to communicate with the inverter. But you can just use can high and can low directly on the on the inverter. Same thing with this with the three phase, you can use can high and terminate the RJ4 uh, terminate the the comms uh, with an RJ58 and plug in. By the way, the termination is just the termination with RJ45. It's not Ethernet. The system still communicates via CAN, but it, you're just terminating on an RJ45 head. Then, same thing with the with the with the with the with the with the with the, with the three phase units. Then we have meter reserved A to B2, like I said. So you just have to remember that on all our devices, when you see A to B2, that's the point where you are actually going to connect the meter, and then. Uh, a1, B1 is for paralleling. Same thing, the side A1, B1 will be reserved for paralleling. But for, for the three phase units, paralleling is completely different and is not part of this uh, PPT. So if ever you are to parallel, you just need to contact us. We'll offer you the training separately. But for now, uh, the, for the single phase paralleling, you just use A1 and B1 because these ones are much simpler to do, basically. Then we have the basic structure of uh, all our devices. So basically all our, this is just a single line diagram of all uh, our, our devices. So basically from the DC side, the only thing that is missing here is the arc detection fault circuit, which is sitting in front of the DC switch. So from the DC switch, the DC EMI filter, uh, DC EMI filter that connects uh, to two MPPTs to the MPPTs from the MPPTs to the DC bus. The battery goes through a DC EMI filter as well with the DC with the DC DC to DC uh, uh, boost uh, boost uh, converter directly to the uh, DC bus through the inverter and through the AC filter. Then the most important part that I just needed to highlight for you, because I know that majority of inverters are just like this, so you're already familiar with the setup. So the most important thing that I just wanted to highlight, the 10 uh, millisecond seamless switching. So we have three relays on all our inverters, right? Then the only thing that you must remember, the one important thing that you must remember is that on the six RS, our smallest unit, you do not have a pass through uh, when grid is available. The inverter on backup remains a six kilowatt, but on the 15, 25 and the 10, they all have a higher pass through when grid is available. So when this inverter is in operation and producing power, both power from the DC side from the PV and inverter will flow through the AC relay then to the non-critical loads and flow through the AC relay to the bypass relay to the critical loads. So these two are on at the same time and will be off at the same time when grid falls off. So for the six kilowatt, this is rated six. Hence, we are saying we don't have a pass through on the six kilowatt, but with the 15, it's rated uh, 43 kilowatt. And with the 25, it's rated 43. With the 10, it's rated 14.5 kilowatt. So with the six kilowatt, you can overpower it with the uh, uh, with the 4.5 kilowatt when grid is available, but the moment grid falls off, this tends tends into being uh, a six kilowatt. So we have this whole power, whole house power th uh, thing, but it's just a pass through if you are familiar with the, the weight, because mostly it's employed by Vectron. So yes, we have a pass through as well that you can use on our inverters while grid is available. Then for the basic uh, uh, structure, we require a neutral bonding basically with uh, our product. So an external neutral bonding, direct neutral bonding basically, it's required in all our devices. So if ever the neutral from the backup port is not bonded, you'll have issues whereby you, your changeover might be delayed and your lights might flicker, but the system uses the neutral from the grid as a reference continuously so even though when grid falls off because the the south african uh, which call grid code basically it's a tncs system so a tncs system just means that the f and neutral from the uh, utility side is the same thing 
So with reference to that, all of the of the of the South African inverters, the moment you commission it and select South Africa, the inverter will be working in a TNC uh, system. So it's important that when it's working in, the, uh, in a TN system, in a TNC system, you bond the neutral from the backup with the neutral from the grid. Upstream the earth leakage. Basically, those two neutrals must be common. And then for operation and maintenance, we use the iSolar Cloud, which is a free platform for all the Sangro clients. As long as you purchase one of our inverters, you have the monitoring platform. The most important thing is that uh, this platform, monitoring platform, you can do all settings, all firmware updates from your phone. Uh, you can also troubleshoot remotely so it's also a troubleshooting manual as well so whatever fault that is there on one of your plans the uh, the platform will be able to tell you what fault is it and how to actually solve it so it's not only just a monitoring platform it's also one thing that you're going to use to control all your inverters to change all your settings from all your plans basically through your phone or through the isola cloud platform using your pc you can just access our website our the website via via any 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 pc as long as you have internet connection to be able to see all your plans using your login in details after you have registered an account so in the south african market we basically have two operation modes which is a normal self-consumption whereby the system tries by all means not to use power from the grid. And we have compulsory mode, which is just basically just backup. So with the self-consumption mode for the South African market, we also the Sangro has also added a functionality called uh, grid compensation uh, with a reserve SOC. So since we have load shedding in South Africa, you can still have the system run under self-consumption, but enable the reserve stock so by doing by so doing that the system automatically you're telling the system to automatically reserve a certain percentage of the battery and if ever that uh that uh the the the, the grid falls off and the system uses power below the the, the reserve stock when grid comes back whenever it comes back or whenever pv is sufficient the inverter will force charge the battery up to the reserve stock. So normally we have a lot of clients who set uh, who have uh, a six RS with a 9.6 battery. They usually just reserve maybe 50% or 40%. So if ever you have reserved 40% of your battery, for an ex for example, um, whenever you use whenever grid falls off and you, you use the battery below 40%, when grid comes back, it automatically charges up and restore it to 40% and then stop and waits for PV to charge it up to 100%. So it's essentially still a self-consumption mode, but it prioritizes uh, the battery so that whenever you have load shedding, your, cu your customer constantly has power. Then we have the backup. We have the backup mode, which is the compulsory mode, whereby the system constantly prioritizes charging the batteries and discharges them when grid falls off. Those are the two uh, operating modes that we have for the South African market currently. Then we have uh, when after just purchasing one of our inverters, you can just download um, the Isola Cloud uh, Isola Cloud app from Play Store or a, a Apple Store if you have you are using. Uh, uh, iPhone. If you are using an Android, you can download from Play Store and then register an account. So um, the most important thing when you're registering an account under the under in, in if you are a client in South Africa, or basically the African market, you just have to remember that you need to select the international server. We have four servers. We have the international server, the Chinese server, the European server and the Australian server. But the South African, uh, the, uh, the South African tech support has access only to the international server. So if you have uh, all your sites on the international server, we can remotely download logs. We can remotely assist you by just getting the name of the plant. So one important thing when registering is that you must select uh, the international server and all installers and distributors must create a distributor account. Then one important thing that we normally get questions about is the um, the code of upper level. So I'll just explain this in the training today. So the code of upper level uh, is if your company before, if your company doesn't have an account with uh, with uh, with Sunru, no, basically the company doesn't have uh, an account with uh, with Sunru, you don't need to 
put this uh, code of upper level in. But if one of your colleagues has already created a plant, uh, uh, created an account under the international server using the company name, they can share with you that code of upper level so that you can all see the same plant. So basically, this is just to share plants. Uh, for example, if one of your colleagues has commissioned five, five sites before you and you create an account as well, they just have to give you the code of upper level so that you can also have access to those plants. But before that, you don't need the code of upper level when you're creating uh, a plant. So the only important things that you need will be your email and from the email you get a verification code and that's it. And after that, the next employee will create an account. You can share with them the code of upper level so that they can have access to the plans that you will commission under that account. Then creating a plant, basically this is the last step when you actually so with our sites these days, you can use local uh, local access to commission or just create a plant. This will run you run through uh, the commissioning steps with you. So when you create a plant on the app, it will automatically ask for the details and it will pin the actual location of where you are. So that will be the address of the of the of the plant. And then the only thing that you need to scan or the only thing that you need to add when you're creating a plant is the communication module serial number. You don't need to add the inverter serial number or the battery serial number. You just have to add the communication module and it will load up everything as long as they're on the international server and you have internet access. Then firmware upgrades. So with all our plants, uh, the firmware is always up, uh, available on the, on the Isola cloud. But the first commissioning, we recommend that you update the firmware to the latest version. After that, you don't have to constantly search for, for the firmware unless there is a specific update that we it's required by the by the South African standard or there's a specific uh, upgrade that you need, the specific setting that you need, but it's not available on the firmware, we will advise you to actually update the firmware after that. But you just have to commission, do your settings, firmware update, and then that's it. You don't have to constantly search for uh, the firmware update, but you can update just to improve the, the performance of the inverter. But if you don't have any issues, just leave it like that. It will work just fine. You don't have to worry about the firmware, basically. That's what I'm saying. But for the first installation, for the first commissioning, you need to upgrade all the firmwares. So the all our devices have an inverter firmware, a battery firmware, and a dongle firmware. So you have to update all three devices at the first uh, com uh, when you are commissioning, basically the first time when you're commissioning. Then upgrades can be done through the ISOA Cloud app as well and the Isola Cloud platform. So as long as you have the app in your phone, you can do firmware upgrades remotely and locally at the same time. Then the troubleshooting part, we just added these so that uh, we can highlight some of the frequent uh, frequent uh, faults that you're going to get. But if ever you have, or as long as you have the Isola Cloud app when you're commissioning or uh, when you, you're, you're in the, the system has been in operation, as long as you have the Isola Cloud app, it will be able to tell you what fault is it and give you the error code and give you what can cause that fault and ways to actually solve it. So for example, 106, it's it's a grounding, it's a grounding cable fault. Normally, if you start up the system without actually grounding the casing, it will give you E106. And just that means that you have to check if the AC cabling is connected correctly and the insulation between the ground and the live wire is normal. So basically you just have to check your grounding if it's connected, it's it's normal. And then that will actually clear out the fault. Uh, all our inverters have um, automatic fault recovery. So if the you see that you have tried to do these steps and the fault is still there, it means that fault is not cleared. Uh, the system will automatically recover the moment the fault is cleared and start up and start to produce. You don't have to worry about it. And then these are all the faults that you're going to get, but you don't have to worry about all of these because the moment you have an issue with the, a fault on the system, the inverter will tell you the the, uh, the error code and the app will tell you what is that fault and how to actually solve it. So basically you have, a, uh, you have a, your troubleshooting manual in your app. So these and then the first ones are alarms uh basically the first ones are actual faults and then these ones we normally refer to them as alarms so uh 
when you have when you're commissioning and you see e714 just know that uh, the bms it's not communicating with the inverter if you see anything from 716 to 703 it just means that your terminals on the inverter is either uh, in reverse or there's no voltage reaching the inverter, but the inverter is seeing the BMS. So these are faults that you can get on the system, but don't know, you don't have to worry about these. As long as PV is available, the inverter will start will work. It will only stop when you have to go to backup and PV is not available. So these ones we refer to them as alarms, not faults. But it's important to to know them. And uh, but the Isola Cloud app will tell you and what to actually do. So all of these that you see here will be on the Isola Cloud. If you have 714, this is the menu that you'll see when you log on to the app. It will tell you what to do and how to actually solve that problem. But 714 is just BMS communication. So, you know, you have to directly look on your com communication between the inverter and the battery. Then we have one um, other setting that is sort of like beneficial to all our clients, the meter reverse correction. So for the single phase inverters, if ever the CT is in reverse, you'll just see a negative power on the load. So there's a setting to correct that. If you enable this, it will actually correct the, the reading to be positive. So if ever you have corrected, connected one of our, our system, either the single phase or three phase, and the load is negative, you just have to enable the meter reverse correction. It will correct that. Uh, uh, basically, it will just correct the CT direction and then read them in a positive manner so that you can so that basically the inverter can start up with PV. Because if the load is negative and you have PV in the system, the system and zero export is set on the system, it will not start up the inverter to just shut it down, saying that you already have excessive power from pushing excessive power into the grid, basically. Then we have the 10-year the warranty on the single phase, like Leonard mentioned. Uh, we have the five-year uh, warranty on the three phase. So. Uh, with all our batteries, the, they are rated, um, they have 6,000 cycles and with 100% DOD and a 10-year warranty. So the 100% DOD for all the tech tech guys, uh, SunGrow sells you the usable power. They don't sell you the total power of the battery. So the usable power of each and every module of our battery is 3.2 kilowatt. So 100% DOD means you can use 100% of the 3.2 kilowatt that you actually paid for. It's we are not doing magic. By a lot of guys usually say it's it's magic, but no, it's not magic. We are just selling you the usable power that you can use in the battery. Hence, we say 100% DOD. Then we have 6,000 cycles or the 10-year warranty, whichever comes first on the battery. Uh, will yeah. Be basically, whichever comes with the 10 years or 6,000 cycles, that's your warranty on the battery. And like Leonard said in the presentation, we don't repair, we actually replace. Uh, we have a 24 hour online uh, widget WhatsApp service. So basically, if ever you have a fault, you have problems, we have WhatsApp groups whereby you will uh, be assisted by a tech, uh, what you call, a Sangro tech uh, uh, support for 24 hours via WhatsApp. So you just have to pop a message in the group. Possibly there'll be a Menlo group with uh, SunGrow tech support in it. So whenever you are on site and you need support, you just pop in the message and then one guy from SunGrow, a lady will be able to assist you with the issue that you'll have. Then within 48 hours, we will replace any faulty unit through our distributor, which is Menlo in this case. So. If ever you have a fault uh, on site and uh, you are assisted by one of our Sunro guys, they'll send an RMA link to you that you will fill out. And then directly after that, you will go to Menlo and collect a new unit. Through them, we will replace your unit, basically. So you'll just go to Menlo and collect a new unit and replace it within 24 hours. Or if ever it needs to be delivered, we will ship it to you within 24 hours. You'll have your unit and replace uh, the faulty ones, basically. Then there are online tutorials on our YouTube page on how to do the installation. So basically, we have SunGrow videos for you as a refresher course that you can use uh, before doing installation. You can just go to our YouTube page as SunGrow SA on YouTube. You'll be able to find how to do the connections from uh, single phase, uh, basically, but we'll upload the three phase videos before 
end of, uh, of, of, of May, we'll upload the three phase uh, tutorial videos as well. But currently we have the single phase tutorial videos that you can just go and look at on how to do the commissioning, how to do the setup basically. And basically that's it from my side. I say thank you, Remission, for your presentation. Um, yeah, so Natasha, we're going to move over to the questions um, now quickly. Yes. Awesome. Um, okay. So I don't see any Q, Q uh, in the Q&A section. Um, if anybody has any questions, please can you type it up in the Q&A section um, and we can start a conversation. Um, I do see that in the chats, uh, side of things. There was a question about um, a link to register for the SunGrow products, um, which was in the presentation. I don't know if you can speak to that, how people can register. So to create an account? Yes. Or to, yeah, to create an um, account, you just you just download the app. So it's simple. You just have to download the app on 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 Play Store, or if you're using an iPhone on Apple Store. And I don't know where they download the stuff, but I use an Android. So from the particular store, any store that you have, you can just download the Sandro app directly and just press register on the app. So that's how you actually register an account on for Sandro. But just remember to put it on the international server. So that for issues like, for example, like I was saying, we have 24 hour support. So if ever you have issues with one of your sites, you just have to pop it in the group and uh, share the name. A tech support from Sangro will be able to assist you and tell you what the problem is. If it's solvable remotely, they'll solve it for you. If it needs you to go to site, they will advise you to actually go to site. Great. Um... Thanks. Thanks, Remission. Um, I don't see any q and A. I I know Leonard has done a little test and I do see your question there, Leonard. So I don't know if anybody else has um, tried adding a question. And um, or if people don't have any questions. <laughs> Amazingly enough. I don't know if there's anything... Um, if Francois is still with us, um, if he has any questions for SunGrow, if you want to chime in and maybe, um, yeah. No, I think everything was uh, uh, quite clear. You know, um, once again, thank you, uh, Leonard, in uh, remission. Um, as for everyone that joined us today, um, as we said before, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. Um, we will answer any questions that you might have afterwards. Um, uh, we know, you know, you go uh, uh, away to look at the products and to think about it and take a look at sites and then something site specific does pop up and you need the, the question for that. Um, please do not hesitate to reach out to us. We are in constant contact with uh, Leonard. So if it's something we cannot answer, uh, we will ask uh, Leonard and assist like that. Um, then as for the presentation um, from our side, we will be sharing this with everyone today. So again, um, if you did not make notes, maybe because we went over it a bit too fast, um, please do not worry about that. We will share these documentations or these presentations with you so you can always reference back to them at any stage. Um, other than that, I think it was quite clear. Once again, there is the Q&A session. Um, oh, I see a question just pop through. You're struggling to send questions, Q&A. What trainings or advice does SunGrow offer to new installers? So I think that's SunGrow. Um, yeah, yeah, basically, no, yeah, okay. Basically, I can answer that. So, so, so yeah, to okay. new installers, to new installers, what we we normally are afford is that the the training through Mendo, basically, if it's not sufficient and you purchase one of our devices because you are interested in the product and uh, willing. So what we normally, what I normally do is I will send you the troubleshooting, basically the commissioning manual. It's a manual that I created for mostly our new clients, basically. I created a, a commissioning manual for all our clients on how to actually commission the system. And we will be with you step by step to be able to commission. So I'll be the directly be the person to contact. Basically, Leonard will share my numbers most of the time when we have new installers, and then I directly 
help you to do the commission and explain all the questions and answer all the questions that you have with the system before the installation, during the installation and after the installation. Thank you very much for that remission. So um, once again, um, you please feel free to reach out to us. Um, we can put you in contact with uh, uh, remission, and uh, we can uh, we can of course assist and and assist you getting your first site up and running. Um, then there's another question that just popped through. I think we are slightly over time. So once again, if something does pop up at a later stage, don't hesitate to reach out. I think we can just maybe answer this last question. Um, again, for SunGrow, can a third party battery be used or um, is it only compatible with the SunGrow batteries? Mm, yeah, that's Leonard. But unfortunately, from the service side, you really... You, you no no you have to use the sandro sandro article uh, uh battery for now i'm not sure but compatibility wise uh, leonard is the one who knows the stuff way better than anyone in south africa so yeah but for now we we only use sandro batteries basically yeah yeah thanks for machine yeah so only compatible with sandro so as sandro we typically provide a solution so remember it's a first it's a first approach with with support so if there's a problem it's a sandro problem it's a problem so we are sandro actually develop a solution to actually make service also much more easier um, because typically it's a f it's normally when things go wrong it's always a finger pointing exercise so that's something that we avo avoid as sangro so we supply the battery and inverter and then we know the product very well on both sides for for sufficient sufficient support yes Okay, um, and I just want to echo what, what Leonard said on that. I'm sure most of you who have already done installations with different brands have experienced this before. So just having that one single contact point to service your product, if something goes wrong, as he said, at least you've got one person to ask, and that's not several different people, which makes the turnaround time less, the service more efficient and more effective and just better overall to get your client site up and running as soon as possible. Um, I think, Natasha, I think that's all we'll have time for. Yes, yeah. Um, yeah, I, um, as uh, Francois men mentioned, the presentation packs will be emailed to all participants, along with contact details, should you wish to reach out to any of the speakers. And additionally, the webinar will be available on demand for future reference. And um, please feel free to share it with anyone that you think may be interested in what was presented today. And um, yeah, and that brings us to the end of our webinar. And um, as we wrap up, I would like to say thank you to our speakers, Francois, Leonard and Remission for their enlightening discussions. Thank you once again to all our attendees for joining us this morning. We hope you found the discussion valuable and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Thanks, everyone. Jose, thanks so much, Natasha. For your arrangements yes. and everything appreciate it it's a pleasure it's a pleasure right. thanks everyone thanks, thanks for sure. all right thanks for mission take care yeah. okay bye 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 bye, bye. 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 bye.